a PN junction exists any time a P-doped area adjoins an N-doped area. We'll study the PN junction functions from the perspective of diodes, which are the most basic PN junction device. But we'll also see that PN junctions exist and are fundamental to the operation of bipolar junction transistors, or BJTs, and also play an important role in understanding how field effect transistors work. This is the schematic symbol of a diode. Diodes only conduct substantial amounts of current in one direction, the direction that the arrowhead is pointing. For historical reasons, the terminals are referred to as the anode and the cathode. Classical current, meaning positive charge current, enters the device and then through the anode and leaves through the cathode. Electrons enter through the cathode and leave through the anode. At the time the two different areas are doped during manufacturing, through the process of diffusion, electrons move from the N-doped side to the P-doped side, leaving behind uncovered bound protons in the N side. This leaves a bound positive charge on the N side and has the same effect as if a hole had diffused from the P side. These diffusing electrons then fill in the holes and covalent bonds on the P side and add a net negative charge on the P side. The net change in charge is as though both an electron moved to the left and a hole moved to the right. To account for this, we talk about and will also account for both electron current and hole current. The bound and thus separated positive and negative charges establish a voltage known as the barrier voltage or junction voltage V sub zero. It's referenced as shown plus to minus. This junction voltage is the result of diffusion and exists without any external voltages present. This junction voltage influences the junction dynamics in two ways. First, as its name implies, the voltage creates a barrier or opposes further diffusion the greater the, the greater the voltage, the less carriers are able to diffuse. Secondly, as this junction voltage forms, it also applies a force on thermally generated electrons in the P side and thermally generated holes on the N side. Under the influence of this voltage, these minority carriers flow in the opposite direction of the diffusion current. That is, the junction voltage applies a force on the minority electrons in the P side, pushing them back towards the N region. Similarly, the junction voltage forces minority, co minority carrier holes in the N side to flow back to the P side. As we discussed before, current due to a voltage is known as drift current. So thus we have two different components of current. The diffusion current, which involves electrons flowing from the N-doped to the P-doped side, it leaves uncovered bound protons in the N side, and those electrons then fill in the holes on the P side, leaving a net positive charge here. That part is the diffusion current. The diffusion current then establishes this barrier or this junction voltage. With a voltage reference like this, positive charge or holes would be pushed in this direction and negative charge or electrons would be pushed in this direction. So the positive charges that are available are due to thermal, um, thermal activity and the liberated holes would then follow the or be pushed by the barrier voltage and thermally generated electrons would be pushed by the barrier voltage back in the opposite direction. So there are two different current comp or components to the current. The diffusion current going in this direction for positive charge and the drift current going in the opposite direction in the direction of voltage drop. This process continues until an equilibrium, an equilibrium is reached where the diffusion current I sub D equals the drift current I sub S. This junction voltage, V naught, can be calculated 
using this formula, again, where V sub T is the thermal voltage, which is about 25.9 millivolts at room temperature. N sub A is the doping concentration on the P side. N sub D is the doping concentration on the N side. And N sub I is the um, intrinsic carrier concentration, either for electrons or for uh, holes. So this dynamic that we've discussed has all happened open circuit. There is no external voltage applied. The, the dynamics are all a result of diffusion of holes and electrons and the junction voltage that is established by that, by that diffusion process.